Hi, this is Diana from Second Half Dreams, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new InDesign document and set your book's trim size and page margins. I already have InDesign opened up on my computer, so the next thing I want to show you is how to create a new document. Um, two ways to do that. You can just click here on Create New or go up here and select File New Document. Either method brings up the new document screen, and this is where you can set your book's trim size and page margins. I want to set the book's trim size next, so to do that, um, you go over here to the top right part of the new document screen. And for these tutorials, I'm going to be creating a 6 by 9 inch book. So first thing I need to do is change units from picas to inches. And then I need to change these settings. Right now it sets at 8.5 inches by 11 inches. I'm going to change that to 6 by clicking in this box and typing in 6. And then I'm going to change the height to 9 inches by typing in the 9. And that's all there is to setting up your book's trim size. Okay, next I'm going to change my page margins. And to do that, you go down to the margin section. And right now, all four margins are set at half an inch. Um, when I make my books, I do like having the top and bottom set at half an inch. But I usually like having a larger inside margin of 0.625. So I'm going to go ahead and change that just by clicking inside the box and typing in 0.625. But okay, so what happened here is all four margins changed. And that's because this Make All Settings the Same button is enabled. So when I make a change in one box, all four boxes change. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back to half an inch. And now I'm going to disable this. And now I'll go ahead and change my margins. Um, you don't have to type it in. You could also use these arrows right here. So for 0.625, I use the up arrow. And then I like my outside of 0.375. So I will use this down arrow. So now I have all four margins, how I like them. And I'm going to um, just tell you about this bleed and slug. I just keep mine at zeros. And then when you go up here, I have my orientation set at portrait, pages of one. This facing pages checkbox is checked. Starting number of one. The primary text frame box is unchecked. There's one column with a column gutter of 0.1667. So now that I have everything set how I like it, I'm going to press Create. And that brings up my first page. Um, the page margins are indicated by this purple and pink line. And then if you go up here to File, Document Setup, you can just do a quick double check. Make sure your book trim size and page margins are how you like them. If you find a mistake or want to change it, you can just go ahead and do it in this box and click OK. Um, everything's fine for me, so I'm just going to cancel out. So that's it for this video. My next video, I'm going to go for text boxes.